the SWAT's called. It's a pretty it's long name. It's a really long name. But it is uh, atop a hill. It's about three hours outside of Chiang Mai. It's pretty freaking gorgeous. <laughs> What is going on? Thank you for joining us on our quick tour of this gorgeous temple in the mountains of Lampang. Normally we would do this talk from the on-site location, but we didn't get a chance to do that this time around due to time constraints. As you heard me mention, it was about a three hour drive from Chiang Mai to get there. We used a tour service called Chiang Mai Popular Tour and it cost us 1300 baht per person, which is just under 80 US dollars. That included breakfast, free water during the trip, and also lunch after we visited the temple. The tour guide was really friendly and told us all sorts of interesting stories about Chiang Mai history and Lampang history as well. Our pickup and drop off point was at another temple in Chiang Mai called Wat Suan Dok, which is a gorgeous temple in its own right, but we didn't spend too much time there due to the somewhat long drive to our destination, so we had to uh, you know, get on the road and get going. When we got to the base of the mountain, we were loaded up on some trucks and took a slightly wild ride uphill for about 10 minutes to get us closer to the hiking trail. Once there, the half hour journey up toward the temple began. All in all, it was a beautiful scenic hike. But just as a warning, it does get pretty steep and it can turn into a workout if you don't take advantage of the rest points that are provided along the way. Once you get to the temple grounds, you realize that it's actually a fairly small area. With that said, you have to appreciate the fact that all of the material that was used to build everything that's up there was brought up by hand over the course of two years by a local monk and about 46 workers. Definitely, definitely not an easy feat to do something like that. The views are spectacular, and although we've been to a few mountain temples at this point, this was probably the highest elevation we've experienced so far. You could almost kiss the clouds. Was a great experience. The only thing that we didn't like is that we felt like we were a bit rushed. After traveling three hours to get there, it would have been nice to spend more than an hour, and that's being generous. It may have even been more like 45 minutes. Okay, stop. <laughs> So if you really want to relax and take it on in, we would say to figure out a way to get there yourself. Otherwise, it was still fun and we are grateful we got to see it. Before heading back to Chiang Mai, we took another one hour drive to a different temple in Lampang called Wat Nang Lao. This was also a beautiful temple and actually had a pagoda that was designed in more of a Burmese architecture uh, style with these uh, red cascading rooftops um, and it was really beautiful, it was nice there. They also had a bridge uh, with that similar dragon pattern that you've seen um, at Doi Sutep and at Doi Kham um, and overall it was, it was just a really nice uh, temple grounds and then of course after that we went back to Wat Swan Dok and back home. We hope you enjoyed this quick tour. Um, and join us for our next episode. Peace. Peace out. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment. Do it now. Ah!